Hi everybody, Ashley here, one of your Conac heroes. And I think we all are aware of the fact that the hearing loss journey is not an easy ride. There's a lot of good moments and a lot of, um, you know, more unsettling moments, I guess. And I had previously talked about a time when I was grateful for my hearing loss. So I thought today I would talk about a time that had me a little bit scared because of wearing hearing aids and um, not being able to hear. So I you know, grew up having my own room, but my parents were down the hall. So I knew that if a fire alarm went off or anything, you know, noisy that I may not hear um, would go off, that they would come down the hall and, you know, retrieve me. But my freshman year of college, I um, shared a room with somebody else. I had a dorm room with a, a roommate, but sometimes she was not there. And I remember that being one of the first times I was scared about um, being left alone and, you know, not having my hearing aids on at night and being fearful that I may not hear something if the, you know, alarm went off, uh, mostly because I didn't have somebody I could like rely on right away to, you know, come help me if something happened. Um, you know, my RA knew and stuff, but there's still a little worry that, you know, somebody, you know, in the panic of a moment, um, you know, may think about getting themselves out of the situation. And so I remember thinking that that was a moment where I was feeling a little bit unfortunate about the fact that I couldn't hear at night because I'd take my hearing aids out. And, you know, since then I've overcome that fear, but there's still moments if I'm by myself at night um, where I'm worried that maybe I won't hear the alarm go off uh, in the house or if something's going on outside. Um, but I, you know, definitely learned how to sort of combat that by, you know, talking with roommates and setting up systems with, um, you know, automatic lights that go on um, if there's a noise alert. And I am feeling much more comfortable with it now, but that was definitely a, a, an awakening moment, if you will, that I had to learn to navigate some spaces on my own without relying on my parents um, to kind of rescue me, <laughs> if you will. Um, but I think that that's part of the hearing loss journey is, is learning to, you know, overcome those fearful moments and also learning to appreciate what it is and having those moments that do make you grateful for it. So thanks for listening. Let me know what you think in the comments below.